Hi, I'm Ms. Devoy. I'm a fourth grade teacher over at ISEP Innovation, and today I'm going to read Alma and how she got her name. Alma and how she got her name. Alma, Sofia, Esperanza, Jose, Bora, Candela had a long name. Too long if you asked her. My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course, me. She was the one who taught me how to read. I love books and flowers, and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together? I am Esperanza. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family, like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. Bura. Bura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. I am Candela. I love the story of my name. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma, Sofia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura, Candela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma and I have a story to tell. And then we have a little note from the author. A note from Juana. She is the person who wrote the story. My name is Juana Carlota Martinez Pizarro. My father named me Juana after his mother, Juana Francisca. My mother chose the name Carla to honor the memory of her uncle, Carlos. My father was a man of decision, so when it was time to register my birth, he changed Carla to Colata on the birth certificate. He was convinced that Juana Carlota was the mighty name he wanted for his daughter. Thanks to that change, I got stuck with what I thought was the most old-fashioned, harsh, ugly, and way too Spanish name in all of Lima, Peru, where I grew up. Little did I know that later on, after I moved to the United States, it would feel unique and remind me every day of where I come from. What is the story of your name? What story would you like to tell? Have a great day, boys and girls.